Hi everyone! So, I know it's been a while since my last video, and the story is that I really didn't think that this channel was going to be getting much attention. I was bored on like a Saturday, and I just thought, I'll make an iMovie tutorial. And I had no idea that it would get 25,000 views, and it seems like it was really helpful for people, so I thought I would just make a couple more and see how things go, and I just wanted to say thank you for your support. I did not think that it would be this popular or this helpful for people, but I'm glad that it was. So, uh, with that being said, let's just get right into the tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to add more than one Ken Burn in a single clip. Now if you don't know, Ken Burns are a setting that makes the clip zoom in or um, move like the crop, like the view shifts. So an example of that would be this. So as you can see, the image is zooming out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out the first Ken Burn you want. So for our purposes, let's say we're going to have it be like that. So now if we watch it, it is going to slowly pan over there, like so. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to split the clip. To do this, all you have to do is click the trackpad with two fingers on the clip uh, at the point that you want to start the other Ken Burn, and you're just going to select Split Clip. You can also do this by pressing Command B on your keyboard. So now we have two clips, and what you're going to notice is that the Ken Burn actually repeats itself in the second clip. So we've got this, and then if we go to the second clip it will repeat, because it's got the same Ken Burn settings. We split it, but it still has the same. So now what we're going to want to do is go over here to our crop settings and click these two little arrows. This is going to switch the start frame and the end frame. And that makes it so our, our the last frame of the last clip is now the first frame of the next one, if that makes any sense. And feel free to let me know in the comments if I'm being unclear. I love to hear feedback and I am happy to explain things further. So now we're gonna just adjust our end frame on this second clip, let's say over here. And now let's watch the whole thing together. Perfect. So as you can see, it stopped here and then continued in a different path. And I think this is the easiest way to do this. I'm sure there are other tricks people use that are out there, but this is the one that I prefer. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, feel free to comment, as I said before, if you need any more help. And uh, also just comment suggestions of things you need to learn how to do, and I'm happy to explain them. Uh, again, thank you so much for all the support that this channel has gotten so far. I look forward to making more tutorials in the future. Have a great day.